Hi guys, Mike here and in this short clip we're going to see which of these three phones is faster. We have the iPhone 5s here on the left of the screen, the Samsung Galaxy S5 in the middle and the Samsung Galaxy S4 on the right. The iPhone is of course powered by an Apple A7 processor with 1GB of RAM, the Galaxy S5 runs on a Snapdragon 801 platform with 2GB of RAM, while the Galaxy S4 is motorized by a Snapdragon 600 platform with 2GB of RAM as well. First we're going to run Geekbench on all of these. The iPhone 5 demolishes the Samsung's in terms of single-core performances, scoring 1414 points, in comparison to the 930 points scored by the S5 and the 697 scored by the S4. When it comes to multi-core performance though, the Galaxy S5 steps in front. With a total of 2884 points, the iPhone 5s comes in second with 2569 points and the S4 is still last with 2165. When running Quadrant on these devices, the Galaxy S5 shows an even bigger lead over the S4, scoring almost 24,000 points, compared to the S4 which settles for a little over 10,000. The iPhone 5s sits this round out, as Quadrant only works on Android right now. However, benchmark results are not really something that I care about, but I do care about daily use performance, and in the next couple of seconds I'll show you which of these devices loads certain apps faster, so have a look. The iPhone 5s loads the standard YouTube app and the default camera interface first. In terms of shutter speeds, I'd say that the iPhone and the Galaxy S5 are neck and neck, maybe with a slight advantage for the Galaxy, while the S4 is visibly slower. Next, the iPhone 5s loads Shazam first, followed by the S4 and then the S5, and the exact same thing happens when loading Google Maps. Launching the dialer on the other hand sees the iPhone 5s again outpacing the Samsungs, with the S5 coming second and the S4 third, and the same happens when loading a new game in GTA Vice City. So long story short, the iPhone 5s came first in all the above scenarios, with the S4 and the S5 taking turns at the second and third places. It's worth mentioning that the iPhone 5s is running iOS 7.1 with reduced motion turned on, while the Samsungs are running the default versions of Android 4.4 KitKat without any tweaks. Of course, this is not really a comprehensive performance test, but it just exemplifies how fast these devices can cope with daily activities, and the results just speak for themselves. Anyway, that's about it for this short clip, but if you're interested in more details about any of these devices, head over to the channel and check out my other videos. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.